Well, I've shown in past videos that the Talmudic Jewish lobby has a consistent record that goes back uh, nearly 2,000 years of opposing and trying to shut down the free speech of those they oppose or also those that would criticize them. Okay? The only difference is, is that their tactics have changed. Instead of trying to murder those that oppose them like they did uh, in the book of Acts with, uh, to the apostles, or they tried to do the apostles, they'll just simply try to use legal means to shut down your free speech when you criticize their agenda or criticize their false religion of Judaism. Okay, and this is just another example of that. So, this is on uh, Al Jazeera. It says, the Israel lobby versus the First Amendment. The Congress attempt to ban the BDS movement as an attack on the core democratic values of the US. Now, I need to point something out. I support racial Israel, uh, the right to be physically in that land that God gave to Abraham's descendants, okay? However, I don't support the false religion of Judaism. When I, t when I you know, despairingly talk about Jews, I'm referring to religious Jews. As I'm referring to Jews as a religious group, not the racial Israelites. So I need to just make that distinction there, okay? I criticize Judaism like I criticize any other false religion. So I want to make that quick distinction. But in the article, it says... The um, adage goes, be careful what you wish for, because you might just get it. Indeed, this is very unprecedented, in which the influential American Israel Public Affairs Committee could soon find itself. In its obsessive efforts to defeat the Palestinian-led boycott movement, APAC will soon force a, re a revisitation of the long dormant debate on the illegal Israeli military occupation of Palestine. Uh, the U.S. mainstream media has long avoided an honest discussion on Israel and Palestine, as if, it, as if the mere acknowledgement of a Palestinian point of view, let alone Palestinian rights, in and of itself, is a sinister act. Uh, if it were not for alternative media and varied margins available uh, in uh, international media, the Palestinian voice would have been completely silenced, and Palestinians would merely exist as, as notorious terrorist figures standing Sorry, F, uh, sorry, figures standing obstacle to Israel's supposedly Western-style democracy. Uh, in fact, this is the very image that is consistently peddled by the, by the Israeli government, its official propaganda, Hasbara machine, and its many allies in the United States. Now again, I support racial Israel, their right to be physically in that land, that's pretty much it. I don't support the Israeli government, their, their Jesuit-led government. And I, I'm not this kind of person who just blindly says that Israel can never do any wrong and they're always perfect in everything they do. In fact, the opposite is true. Scripturally speaking, Israel is anything but perfect. That's why God has the pearl of his wrath for seven years on racial Israel during the time of Jacob's trouble, because they're just rooted in sin and vice. So, I need to point that out. My support for Israel does not go beyond just simply affirming the scriptural fact that racial Israel, not the false religion of Judaism, but racial Israel has the right to be physically in that land. That's it. So, you need to make that distinction. But Judaism and religious Jews are of the spirit of Antichrist, plain and simple. Continuing on in the article, it says, A large network that is purportedly motivated by its undying love for Israel encompasses among its ranks powerful politicians, end-of-time religious fanatics, business interests, and media uh, mongols. I guess how you say it. It says, uh, in the uh, conglomerate of individuals and the massive interest they represent that we often refer to as the lobby, APAC is a central piece in the lobby's, uh, indi uh, sorry, integrate, oops, not good at reading on the computer, basically their web, which has to uh, a large degree succeeded in tainting the oppressed Palestinian as the aggressor and the military powerful Israel as a victim. Now, when it comes to the Palestinians as being victims, that's not always true because, well, they're Islam. You know, Islam is of the devil, plain and simple. Islam is every bit as demonic as Judaism is. So that's not entirely true either. But, you know, it just, this is a core example of the attempt of the Talmudic Jewish lobby to censor speech they don't like. See, it's only free speech if they like it. See, they'll, they'll invoke the First Amendment when it's something they agree with. But the consistent record of the Antichrist spirited Talmudic Jewish lobby is to censor speech they don't like. Before, you know, like I, like I said, the only thing that has changed is their tactics. Before they would try to murder those they don't like, just like Mohammed and his Mohammedans would, would do now. But now they just use legal means to try to shut down their opponents and their critics, or critics of their false religion and their blasphemous Talmud. Thank you.